Hi everyone, I'm ordering my first kids art book from Jimmy Halfpenny tonight and I've never had one of these made before so I thought I would document the process from tonight when I order it uh, till the day that it arrives in hard copy for me just so you can see whether it's something that suits your family. Um, in front of you that's Jimmy Halfpenny's website so it's jimmyhalfpenny.com.au but I also have it on my phone just to show you how easy it is. So this is their website on the phone. Uh, you just click the drop down box and select order. And then you go in and choose different things. Now we'll just show you this here. So a starter kit, the starter kit costs $39.99 and that's what I'll be paying tonight per book. Um, and I'll share with you what the starter kit involves once I receive it. And then on the side here just says duplicate books are 50% off. So what that means is if I order one book tonight and then I want to order an extra one for my parents, that would cost me 50% off the price. All right, so there's a few things you have to choose. You have to choose which size you want. I'm going to go with regular. Um, you have to choose how many books you want. I'm going to get one for each of the children. You choose a title for the book. So um, my book's going to be called, well, Cruise's book is going to be called The World According to Cruise. You add a photo. Um, of the child and obviously the child's name and then here you can write a little dedication to them and that's really lovely I enjoyed writing that up um, and then you have two options here so one option is that you would like to receive your child's artwork back so the hard copies once they have finished scanning them in that's ten dollars which I'm not doing and the other one is that you'll get a sneak peek so an electronic version of the book before they print it. So they'll send that to your email. So because I've never done this before, I'm actually going to choose that option so that um, I get to see it before they send it for printing because I'm not really sure what to expect. Okay, so it was that easy. I filled in those details. I have two books sitting there, one for each of the boys. And uh, so it's a total of $79.98 for the starter kits to be sent to me. There's no shipping in, um, added to that. And so I will just be proceeding to check out now and uh, I'm going to fill out these details and send them in. Okay, so there we go. It is the 31st of January and I've just paid. They have PayPal, so I really like that. And uh, the next part of the video that you'll see will be when the starter kits arrive. It's the 7th of February now and this arrived in the mail today. I'll show you what's inside. This is what arrives, um, a bit of a how-to on what you need to pack and I found this particularly um, useful that if you don't want your artwork to be damaged, which I don't think anyone wants their artwork to be damaged, um, you put two pieces of cardboard, you know, one on top, one on the bottom so that it keeps it safe and this is super helpful. I love a good checklist. Um, you just check off what you've done. So what I need to do now is choose a cover piece. I need to place it on the top of the pile and mark on the back of it with a pencil that it is the cover piece. Um, I need to place my artwork in a specific order and number each piece so I can choose which goes on top and then all the way to the end. Um, you can send any photographs of art that you want included in the book, so I'm not doing that, but you can. How many copies you would like, so duplicate copies, which I'm not getting duplicates. Um, proof of the book, which I am getting, so it will be sent to my email before they print it. Uh, whether you want your original artwork returned or not, which I don't. Uh, you can upsize, so I changed that I wanted the regular size, but I can change an up um, size to deluxe and that you've protected your pile using the pieces of cardboard. And then you just let them know where you heard um, about them. So that is what came in the mail with the bag that um, you need to send the artwork in. And it is already addressed. So this is all the artwork. I've got two piles. This one is for my eldest and then I've just put my youngest in a separate pile. I've put in things like their school photos as well, which I won't show just because they're in their uniforms, as well as um, there's lots of artwork but then right at the back, I tore out some of the writing that he'd done. So obviously all his English books were sent home at the end of the year and I tore out some of them just to keep a bit of a record of what his writing was like in grade one. Um, and then I also had the letter from Santa right at the back for him. So that's my eldest pile, my youngest pile. So this is the cover. You gotta put the cover on the top. My youngest pile is the same thing, so we've chosen that one for the cover, which is upside down. And then he's got his school photos as well, and then the rest is just all his artwork in there. So you want to put it in order of how you want it to appear 
to appear in um, the booklet. I think I have this pile upside down, um, but it's as easy as that. So you just put everything in together and pop it into the envelope. It's ready to be packaged. I've just put a bulldog clip because I have two orders and I didn't want the kids artwork to be to get confused. So that's one and that's the other. This is the cardboard that we're going to put on the top and the bottom just to protect it. So it's not overly thick. We just used um, an existing um, piece of cardboard that we had. But I suppose if you had a Huggies nappy box or anything like that, um, that's thick enough. You could cut it up to use to protect the artwork. The cardboard is in, one on the top, one on the bottom. And you just pop it all into the bag. Seal it, pop it in the mail, and the next time I see the artwork, it'll be in a hardcover book. They're here. Uh, they arrived yesterday. I have already opened them and had a look. I really wanted to film me opening them, but when um, the postman knocked on the door, I couldn't help myself. I didn't get the camera out and set it up. I just ripped into it, and I absolutely am so excited. Uh, if you follow me on Snapchat, <laughs> You would have seen how excited I was. I was ridiculously excited. I'm really impressed with these. Uh, so I've been doing a bit of a timeline so you know what to expect time-wise. But the, yesterday was the 7th of March and they arrived. The box arrived a lot better than this but I ripped into it. I'm so glad I did this video. I didn't know what to expect but I'm so excited. Alright, so a little thank you note. These are the two packets um, with the books in them. So I'm just going to of that box all right so these are neat little bags and it's the little touches like this so you open it up the boys thought these were so cool <laughs> inside the bag here is the book so this is my youngest son's book and uh, it just says on the front there the world according to hunter and that is the picture that he drew so here it is here and I got to choose the cover picture and I just think it's super cute. Now, uh, on the front page, so the first page, you can do a dedication to them. So we got a photo of him and wrote a little message to him, which is going to be really sweet when, you know, in a few years time he looks at it. It's just not my week. Um, the battery died. <laughs> and so different day, continuing on with the filming. This is... Um, my eldest son's book and honestly when I received it I was blown away by the quality and I wish you could feel it you know how it's really nice just to feel it and see what it looks like um, but on the front page I did a little dedication to both the boys so I wrote a little message to them which I think is really sweet I also think it's sweet that you can you know on the spine is printed so next year because I will be doing these every year now um, next year it will just go next to it and I'll end up with a bit of a collection. So this is really his year one book and it has newspaper articles that had him in it um, from the year. It also has pictures the school sent us from Grandparents Day um, and then from this page I can share with you. So the first few pages are just class photos and bits and pieces. I didn't only send drawings, I actually sent little bits of like the Father's Day and Mother's Day um, questionnaires that he'd done. And um, yeah, I just sent everything that I wanted to keep as a memory. That turtle one's really cute. Anyway, as you flick through, you can see all the artwork. Even these just little love notes that he'd written during the year. Um, and right at the back of the book, I actually tore out of books that I would have thrown away. So like his English book, his I think they're called his writing book. Um, I tore out some of his writing that I would like to keep as a reminder of how he used to write in grade one so there's some pages there and then his personalized letter from Santa I put anything that I would like to remember from grade one into that book don't take up a lot of room front and back can sit on my shelf like that as I get a collection and are really quick to just grab down the boys love looking through their artwork but these they were very excited about as well let me show you how cute this is so they printed the front cover of the book into a card and um, inside the card at the bottom it says artist Cruz Baker and he just thinks that's amazing so you can actually get the kids artwork made into these little cards which is the cutest idea for if the kids are going to a birthday party and they can write a little happy birthday card to their friends or grandparents would love this sort of thing so they're hunters 
and that is obviously a painting that he's done and like I said on the inside it then says H artist Hunter Baker and they are super proud of these and they can't wait to write little notes to their friends but I thought um, you know if you grab a pack of them um, at the start of the year and have them ready for birthdays for family members it's the little touches that mean a lot to people and I just think a handwritten card from the little artists themselves saying happy birthday would be really special. So I love that they did that as well. In total for both the boys, um, it came roughly to $280. Now at first, um, I was a little taken back that it was $280. That's obviously a lot of money. Um, and whilst memory making is very important to me, I I also try and do um, things, you know, as budget friendly as we can for our family. But it took me 10 seconds to realize that this memory is now made for a lifetime and it's far more likely that we're going to enjoy this and look through it than if I just kept a stack of artwork. And so because I love maths, <laughs> I did a little bit of work and just kind of put it into perspective. So $280 is for two books. That would be $140 per child. So if I wanted to save towards this book, I would need to put $2.70 aside per week um, to pay for one of the books at the end of the year. Now $2.70 per week is very reasonable when I think about how much money I spend on other things. So the iced latte that I have from my favorite um, coffee shop is $6. I am more than happy to miss out on one iced latte a week to be able to, by the end of the year, print two of these books for the kids and actually have um, lifelong memories. Once I thought about it like that, I thought, I don't even think twice about an ice latte, so it's crazy if I was thinking twice about, you know, something that captures um, our kids at age six and three, and then next year at seven and four. So this is going to mean a whole lot more to me at the end of, you know, the kids schooling than my ice latte per week will. So um, if you wanted to save towards it, I would say roughly put $3 a week aside per child, um, depending on how much you want to get printed. And then you're not going to have a huge um, amount to pay at the end of the year, even if you go over the amount of pages that I do, at least you've got the bulk of it saved. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I actually chose not to get the artwork back because um, I wasn't really sure what I would do with it, but um, Kate kindly did send them back to me and that is how you could expect to get them back. So they actually packaged nicely and in a way that I can store them in um, a cupboard if I wanted to in a drawer nice and neatly and just label the front and uh, it's not going to take up a lot of room but as to what I would do with them I'm not sure I'm going to think of a clever idea of something we can do with the kids um, with their artwork now that it's all saved in the book. I hope that watching the journey of getting the artworks into the final stages has been useful. I know that I like to see how things work before I invest money into things like this. So I took one for the team and uh, I've shared the adventure of getting the artwork to hard copy.